Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death permanent run of Carlos de Silver, who is still trying to uh, take over and redeem the uh, thief skill. He's already the leader, but in order to face his biggest foe, Mercer, he will need a better dagger and it's time to reforge Maroon's uh, racer uh, in order to do that. But this is going to be a really 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 tough fight so i brought some help and some ideas with me let's set this up good time to get this going What's the hurry? move it my buffs are running out Maroon's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. Thank you. Please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not me. Why don't you get... You, mortal. You are worthy of speaking to. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion or I will crush you. Wait, wait. I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. Dagon has spoken. Fine. I'm not dying without a fight. Seventy-five percent regeneration, that's actually not bad. All things considered. I am pleased, mortal. I will give you my razor. Use it to wreak havoc on Tamriel. You Thanks. have been a worthy tool. Fill the world with destruction in my name. Place your hands on my altar one last time, and you will witness the power of Merun's Dagon for yourself. Let's get Aura Whisper going. Before Let's you go, take that. One final challenge. And that. <laughs> and that. Aura Whisper. Perfect. Uh, we want the Rune's Dagger and we want Poison. Oh, they are almost taking no damage. No, 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 we don't want to take a single hit here. It's hard to get a hit in. And both of them continue to power attack. One hit, okay. Lingering poison, yes, please. Nice. That was the uh, that was the special ability, a two percent instant kill chance. All of these are cursed, so don't get too excited. The value isn't really the value. I was hoping for a Daedric heart. I tell you what. 
don't be greedy we can always come back uh, to the shrine if we want uh, the interior there is a nice um, bag of holding in there but there are also a couple of invisible dremoras and I don't want to fight them these two are more than enough for my taste gosh damn it those three items already get you to the armor the maximum armor armor cap cool well there we go maroon's razor is ours <laughs> finally i'm actually quite happy uh, now all we need to do is confront versa and don't play like a uh, like a dumb fuck then we should be able to actually kill him so next step finishing the quest Okay, short stop to Raven Rock. Just wanted to showcase that as well. We'll buy the Ring of Dwindling Magic. That will... Need any supplies? ...allow us to get almost to 75 magic resistance, which is okay. I mean, our, uh, our equipment is as good as w it will get with this build. But that'll make us much, much tougher to deal with uh, for magical enemies and also allows us to resist quite a few of the shouts and so on. So resists are actually fine. Damage output against everything but undead seems to be fine as well. Let's do one last round of leveling up. Sneaking is almost there. We wanted marksmanship to get to 25. Well, that's good. Illusion is already where it's supposed to be. Now the question going forward, you know what? Let's do speech 25 because that means I can do a couple of persuasion checks. Not that it matters for the current quest. It's actually not too bad to have that as an option. One more perk and I already mentioned we are going to go for dagger focus. So more armor penetration and more damage Plus, we can sneak even more targets, which is uh, which is helpful. That brings us to a solid 150 per hit. That's actually quite good. Parts are also very reasonable. Still a very short period after uh, the attack, uh, which forces me to move, uh, which blocks my movement, but I think it should be fine. Like that's half a second now. And with a bit more swing speed, if uh, once we raise uh, dexterity, we should be fine. Uh, it's a bummer that sneaking, uh, we haven't gotten sneaking all the way up, but I don't want to grind it now. so. This must suffice. Let's uh, face Mercer. We're jumping right into the action as we are arriving at uh, the final location. Mercer is supposed to be here. Our weapon is already poisoned. And I was ambushed, so I hit record and we're going to give it a go. Lots of bandits in there. to sneak in but that somehow never works invisibility yeah we're definitely being spotted out not fully though that was a back step We're doing it the warrior way. The 
We're still under fire, and someone is swinging at us, I swear. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> just almost missed this guy. Situational awareness zero. Killed him, but unfortunately got hit as well. Gotta be careful here. But as you can see, our attacks are now starting to actually penetrate quite a bit of armor. Huge bandit camp here, by the way. One thing in our advantages, we're out of line of sight. Might as well use it to get back into stealth. If we do not move, they should not be able to spot us out. But the recue mechanic gives them a huge spot bonus for daylight. Yep, they are not seeing us yet. As long as we don't move. Find you. Dead. <laughs> he stepped onto a trap. I'll take that one. Alright, we're hidden. Which means the last guy who's back here finally can be assassinated. Alright, a bit of a strange start to this mission. Let's double check if we haven't missed anything. One thing that I have learned over and over and over again is don't loot in mid combat, but it's a bad habit. So we got the well rested bonus, we'll take that. Take the last healing poultress, poison self buff and I think we're also going to buff muffle because I purchased that one apparently can't yet um, empower that but we can give it an, a normal cast So there's the normal boss chest. And here's our entrance. Okay, so I looted up. All of the bandits are dead. I found myself a scroll of lightning cloak. And we could use some regeneration here. This is going to be a longer ish dungeon or a whisper <coughs> lots of bandits here These are all pre-killed. Oh. 
And I can already see that there is a sphere in here that is potentially only triggering if we're not sneaking by. Still a little bit too slow uh, with my moving away. I was trying to see if I could like power attack and then just completely move away. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I'm still stuck in place for too long. Yeah, I'm always getting the counter attack. Yeah, yet again. Question is, should I take a couple of counter attacks just to kill them quicker? Potentially not. It's really not worth it. There is one, no, two even down there. Are they fewer though? And it seems says the answer is yes. So far, so good. The traps here are a bit problematic for me because they don't seem to affect them, but they very much affect me. And I thought I heard something, so I was right. These guys are actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Mainly to clean them out and to not get ambushed afterwards. We could also sneak all of this, but I feel that uh, these guys are actually relatively decent experience. Oh, almost first try. And... We should poison our dagger. Not sure if it really works against uh, the machines here. Likely it does not. We're going to see in a second exactly the same amount of damage. Can't one shot them even with poison. Mercer's been here. Brynjolf. We have to catch up to him before we should tread care. All right, let's go. We wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. Versus down there. Right there. And we'll attack the enemy, uh, the farmers. Rebuffing. And let's get some invis going. Oh, I should have done that after the door. Stupid.
good healing potion that is helpful still can't shout there are a couple of enemies down there so we gotta be careful Sphere over there, two reds, another sphere down there. Let's kill the sphere here first. I completely missed the pharma. shouldn't hit the shift key too often, that's how I sprint. Because Windows doesn't like that. Alright, we killed I think every single one of them, short of the rats. As long as no one is running into the traps, we should be fine. Okay, farmers might have spotted us out. Nope, they did Looks not like yet. Take the low road or the high road across this chamber. Your choice. There are quite a few farmers here. Still one on the rooftop. But I trust in our stealth abilities. Apparently not a apparently not a sneak attack kill. Interesting. Uh, we want further regeneration. That worked very well for us. Oh, and before we forget it, um, healing portress actually was running out. Two or three more to go, yeah. Three more, okay. It's the key, Bruno. In his hands, there's no telling what he's capable of. I'll tear you apart. Good. Time to loot every single one of them. Good poison. Some good healing potions. More good healing potions.
That worked reasonably well. Our stealth is actually okay. The farmers aren't fully susceptible to sneak attacks, apparently. Or to a much le lesser degree. Okay, we killed every single one of them. Get them clean. Yeah, Mercer was already here. There's only a scroll of life here. Texas. Unfortunate. Okay, the Centurion is still there and we have a few smaller creatures, plus a Falmer I think up there. What was that? Rest. Yeah, there are definitely more Falmers. can go over there in a second. I still think we can take on the Centurion. Well, now it's no longer an option. Now it's a given. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do that and think that he's going to wreck in any shape or form to the poison. His breath definitely is a problem. I will need to heal up. I thought I could just tank through the breath, but it's not happening. Paralysis, immune. Hibernating touch, maybe. The arrows hit him very well.
still not happening. Buddy. I think the special arrows actually dealt most of the damage there. I can only hit him for up to a hundred. Some lightning damage. And uh, let's go. I think rebuffing would be good. Let's do that. Get rid of all of that. Invisibility. Um, let's get the last couple of farmers, shall we? These guys here are patrolling. Gotten all of them. Nothing worthwhile over here. And that's where Mercer was killing a few farmer earlier. But they magically respawned. Okay, cool. So, 45 health, yes. Good lingering damage, yes, and we're good. We have to get the key back. The stench. This place reeks of farmer. This must be their hive. <laughs> so, if you want to avoid drawing them, I don't know, I don't think that we need to avoid drawing their attention, I actually think that drawing some of their attention might be helpful. they don't yield experience that way but still Mass of the farmer in his chamber. 
You take them down. I don't care. As long as we get to Mercer. Hi. Whatever you want to do, we're with you. Enough games. Let's end this. All right. It seems like it's on. No, 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 we don't want to be stuck in here. That was not clever. We never want to be stuck in a corner. our wall hacks so that we can see through all of this and apparently some discord is running in the background let me fix that Good, it's fixed. I don't want you guys to go crazy when you're watching the video. Just because there's Discord in the background. Definitely getting closer to their main hive. Time for invisibility. What? Why are they detecting me? Both of my comrades, unfortunately, I haven't gotten the memo about poison resistance. going to I was about to say we're going to use some of uh, the Falmer poison but we haven't even uh, used all of uh, the other poison yet expert cannot be broken by us of things here a um, bit of resist a bit of healing and a bit of damage
Unfortunate. That would be... Expectingly some nice loot in there. Fortunately we won't be able to get that. We are quite close to toxicity, so let's make sure that's not happening. some decent poison as well and the best arrows that we do have ebony arrow let's see if we can re wreak some havoc Give me the key, Mercer. What's Carlyle been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor? Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. I do not believe you. Nocturnal guides me, Mercer. Then it appears the shadows shroud more than your presence. They blind your wisdom as well. Our actions have always been one and the same. Both of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own end. And the difference is I still have honor. It's clear, you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. If anyone falls, it'll be you. Down on your knees. Then the die is cast, and once again my blade will taste nightingale blood. made himself invisible, I see. Is fear working with him? If that would be the case, it would be awesome. Ebony Sword of the Vampire. Hunting Bow of Weakness. That's good. Ebony Dagger, which is fantastic. Left, Right Eye of Falmer, the Skeleton Key, Surpassing Healing Potion. Hasn't really helped you, did it? And because we're overloaded, um, Carry Weight Potion. Skeleton Key in the eye, and let's get out of here. No luck there, last. Something must have fallen on the other side of the door because it isn't moving. We have to find another way out of here before the place fills with water. Well, there is. 
there's a way out of here. It is when the water is pushing us up. Good, we haven't forgotten any loot. out is right up there. Good. <sighs> Let's finish that here. I can't believe it's over. 25 years in exile and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. Sounds like that would be a simple task. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the Inner Sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. I take it you never used the Pilgrim's Path? It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Then we'd bet, uh, best get started, my dear. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Don't worry, I'll return the key. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre. But I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this brew almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. Good. Nightingale bow. Nice damage. 40 points of shock, half magicka, 80 unresistible damage to constructs. That is fantastic. It's a really good bow. Actually going to use that one. I think we might no longer need the Staff of Paralysis. Not sure. I'm trying to optimize our carry weight. In terms of dagger, Ebony Dagger with 126 is still worse than uh, Maroon's Razor. Which is just a fantastic dagger to begin with. But the Ebony Dagger is a good offhand if we ever decide to go dual wielding. So we certainly wouldn't uh, throw that away. Equally, the sword is great. That's actually a really, really good sword. So we are blessed with some of the best loot that the game would be giving you. And with the skeleton key, there's really no failure in all of uh, those chests. All you need to do is wiggle long enough to open them. Cool. Sorry, I've got important things to do. It's a powerful tool. But the blessing of Nocturnal is equally powerful. So we're going to do what we must and bring it back because I wanted to also to finish the whole quest line. 
Before we end today's episode, uh, Pilgrim's Path will be the next one. Let's just upgrade a couple of the skills. Uh, marksmanship already is fine. I think we want the speech to upgrade. Yep. 25 speech. That's good as well. Dexterity, sneak. Alchemy could be upgraded. We already got illusion. Alchemy or marksmanship. Um, that's a good question. I think we soon will branch out into marksmanship, so might as well use the points in order to get it closer to 50. As for the other bits, sneak gets to 75 as indicated. And then dexterity needs to go to, I think it was 65. But yeah, very, very good leveling overall. More health. We got everything here that we could get for now. But we have just increased our sneak and there is a huge perk. Anatomic law applies to any creature that is not immune to sneak attacks. Effectively, that means you can sneak more creatures. 65 would be more swing speeds, 70 would be even higher precise strikes. I like that. One thing that we could definitely do is more damage on power attacks. That would be helpful. Melee attacks. Yeah, I think that's good as well. So a couple of a uh, couple more damage increases are possible here. Getting that to 50, we would deal 18% more damage with melee. If we're running or sprinting, um, but the immunity to kill moves is quite interesting. That would be okay, but we really don't have a stamina problem. Movement speed would be good. Stamina regeneration would be good as well, but I currently feel evasion is okay where it is. These are minor upgrades. Uh, the few things that we could upgrade uh, here would be forward uh, power attack, sprinting uh, one-handed power attack. Or just straight up 20% more damage. I think that one is helpful. Powerful strikes. So this was 12%, 20% here. We would deal just even more damage with uh, power attacks. And 2 in dexterity. So we're okay. Uh, Leveling wise there is quite a bit more that we could do. Um, here we could get adapt uh, illusion I think we're uh, we would be ready uh, to do that as well so the next three ish levels we do have a good leveling plan anyways um, if you do have a plan of um, how the like button works just using that as a nice transaction you might want to sneak over and realize that plan you know what they say um, uh, taking action is uh, the same as wanting to take action, but just a little bit cooler. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.